What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing a beer from the Fifth Frame Brewing Company, and they're out of Rochester, New York. And this is their cool down. So this is a New England style IPA that comes in at 7% alcohol by volume. No IBUs listed in the time of review. This can is approximately three weeks old. So it's been a while since I've reviewed a uh, beer from Fifth Frame on the channel. I reviewed one back in the summertime, but over the last seven or eight months, that is the only beer I have reviewed until now. Actually, over the next month or so, I will be reviewing four different beers from uh, Fifth Frame, and this is the first of the four. So yeah, New England style IPA, they're brewing this one with Citra and the experimental HBC 472 hop, which I've had before in a couple different beers. Kind of produces like a coconut flavor, which I'm a coconut fiend, so works for me. So yeah, Citra and HBC 472. Let's crack this one open and give it a pour. See what we got going on here. So using the hashtag proper glassware, because why not? So yeah, it's pouring out like a New England style IPA for sure. And uh, yeah, looking nice. So the one thing that I used to talk about when it came to fifth frame is they, for me anyway, I can't speak for anyone else, but a lot of the cans I had earlier this year and late last year had some kind of uh, carbonation issues, uh, with some overfills on the cans and whatnot, but this one seems pretty nice. So yeah, that's turbid and murky, looks like pineapple juice in a glass, has about a half finger of this off-white creamy colored head and just looks fantastic. That looks like juice. Definitely New England style for sure. Let's get a nose. Oh, wow. That smells so good. Honestly, smells like pina colada to me. Getting a ton of pineapple, a little bit of that coconut from the HBC hops. There's a little bit of like a woody thing going on, like oaky cedar type of thing which I'm trying to think off the top of my head if I've gotten that before with HBC. It's a, definitely a weird hop, but in a good way. That, that coconut is really nice. They're not using coconut, and it's just coming from the hops, which is awesome. But yeah, coconut, a little bit of like a cedar oak type of thing going on. Pineapple, getting strawberry. Like, maybe not specifically strawberry, but berry notes in this one. A little bit of like under-ripened uh, honeydew melon. Definitely smells like it's going to be sweeter, though. It, this smells like a sweeter uh, New England style IPA at 7%. Uh, you know, not a lot of, I'm not perceiving any bitterness on the nose. Like, it doesn't seem like it's going to have a, a lot of bitterness. Just like this nice, bready, sweeter, almost honey malt-ish kind of uh, characteristics to the malt profile. Smells awesome, though. I want to get into it. Cheers, everyone. Yeah, I'm getting pina colada vibes to this one. This is, this is tasty. Wow, this is really tasty. And the aftertaste is a little bit of that like oak cedar thing too, almost like this was, you know, Asian oak barrel or something, and it wasn't. Anyway, let's get to the body and mouthfeel. Body on this one's like straight up medium, a touch over medium body at 7%. That is impressive. The mouthfeel, soft, smooth, creamy, but it has carbonation here to let you know, hey, this is a beer, this is carbonated. It's like a low to moderate carbonation. It's not undercarbed at all. This is actually one of the better uh, carbonated beers I've had from Fifth Frame that I've reviewed on the channel. Right from last sweetness, you get a little bit like a honey malt sweetness. I don't think they're, I don't know if they're using honey malt in there, but just like a honey perceived from the malt character itself. A little bit of like toasted, not even toasted, we'll just go straight up white bread. As it passes through the palate though, that pina colada, the pineapple, the coconut hits, I'm not really getting as much as the berry on the taste, but there's a little bit of like a, you know, yeah, I was going to say strawberry again, but I don't think it's really strawberry. It's more of like a nondescript field berry. I like to use that uh, note. Shout out to my buddy Aaron. Uh, but yeah, more like a field berry, just like a nondescript, like a red berry. A little bit of underripened uh, pineapple, citrus, or underripened uh, melon, citrus tones too, like underlying on the palate. A little bit of like a resinous hop character as well. And then it finishes with that slight oaky, slight cedar type of um, feel to it. Finishes semi-dry with a nice residual sweetness, but this is not too sweet. I thought this would be too sweet based on the nose. Totally isn't. There's enough dryness here. There's a low bitterness, uh, which is appropriate for the style, but this is not getting cloying after, you know, I've taken, what, four or five sips, and I don't think it's going to by the end of this can. I could probably drink a couple cans of this. Can't really tell you it's 7%. I would just say based on the body, based on the actual characters of the beer itself, I would probably put this around six and a half, seven percent. So I can't really taste the alcohol. I just know this is a bigger beer based on the body and the flavors I'm getting. I, I would not mistake this for like a 5% pale ale or something. Yeah, super easy to drink. Really nice flavors. I'm digging this uh, one quite a bit. So the first beer that I've reviewed from Fifth Frame in like three or four months, 
It's cool down and I'm going to give it a high 4.25 out of 5. I'm going to go 4.35 out of 5. To get into the 5 range, I think I want a little bit more complexity. Uh, there is enough intensity to the characteristics here that I do enjoy it. Again, this can is right around three weeks old. So uh, quality as far as like the freshness goes. So quality as far as the beer in the glass goes. Yeah, 4.3 out of 5 for cooldown from fifth frame. Really, and, uh, I'm really enjoying this one. And I think that I'm becoming a huge fan of HBC uh, 472 hops. I just like the coconut. I was getting that oaky cedar thing in here, which I don't remember if I've gotten it in other HBC beers, but I will just say that it's really nice. It's unique. It's different than a lot of the New England style IPAs that I've been drinking lately. So yeah, 4.35 out of 5, 4 cooldown from 5th frame. Good beer. If you've had this one before, let me know what you think about it, price and availability. I picked this up at Brewed and Bottled in Lewiston, New York. So the cool thing about 5th frame is most of their um, most of their releases were brewery only when i bought them last year and then they started trickling out to uh rochester area uh bottle shops and uh i was like ah, i hope at some point they get into buffalo and sure enough brewed and bottled the owner over there chris uh he got his hands on some he actually he's gotten his hands on like the last two or three releases from them and when i showed up there recently he still had four uh beers on the shelf so i picked up one of each so Awesome that we're getting fifth frame here in Buffalo. Hopefully, Chris continues to get his hands on them because they make some really good beer. Uh, I paid $4.50 for this can. I believe it was $18 a four-pack of the brewery. So Chris is not raising the price. He's charging what they charge at the brewery, and that's awesome to see. So $4.50 for this can. I think it's well worth it for a beer of this quality. $18 a four-pack all day, every day. And like I said, if you've had this one before, let me know what you think about it because I think it's a damn good beer. And one of the better hop forward fifth frame beers that I've had over the past year. Um, so yeah, I have uh, a couple more from them. Like I said, I think three more and uh, we'll see how uh, they turn out in the next couple weeks. So I appreciate everybody stopping by to the next one. Cheers.